what does the brain run best on and, and how does the brain function? Yes. And it seems that the brain actually does great on ketones. And we learned that from work with epilepsy, right? Mm -hmm. Where one of the standard treatments for treatment resistant epilepsy is an extremely high fat, what we call ketogenic diet, which is like 70% fat, 5% carbs, 20, 30% protein. And that actually allows the brains to sort of start being irritable and start to function. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this across the spectrum, like in in uh, Alzheimer's patients, who mm -hmm. for early Alzheimer's patients who are going down, it helps wake them up. And autistic kids who are having issues that are resistant to other therapies, it's one of those things that I think about trying. And I think in schizophrenic patients, there's been case studies. In fact, I just mm -hmm. saw a schizophrenic patient this week and started her on a ketogenic diet. I should been eating a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> this whole mythology that fat actually makes you fat and that fat <laughs> causes heart, heart disease is so embedded in our culture. Mm. It's so ingrained that people are still afraid. I mean, I go still, and yeah. see people eating egg white omelets or go people putting skim milk instead of cream in their coffee. And I'm like, you know, just wondering why are you doing this? And I say this to them, they go, well, isn't that bad, bad for you? Or patients are afraid to eat an avocado or an almond because it's fattening. <laughs>